Well then, looks like we just kind of walked in. So then apparently this little rogue threw his friends into the carriage and made off with a stone. Psh, never trust a rat. I think it was a Jerboa. Oh, there we go. Same difference. Uh, ah, the dragon freaks loose. Damn it, I told you we should have taken her legs. Bryce, play some fight music. Aye, on it. Okay, so both of her legs aren't attached, I figured. Alright, well this is a lot of enemies. And I... Dupe. The faster I get one of them down, the less incoming damage we'll have. Oh, nine now. Eh. There we go. Because unfortunately this character doesn't have any multi-targeting. Really any particular tactics for fighting a large group of enemies? Unless I just want to spread... Unless I just want to spread, uh... The, uh, the reduced attack damage around. But by the time you've looped around, they might just, you might just run out of things to do. Alright, so... He is set up to get that extra stamina now, every time he, lo he rests. Which means he's immediately right back up to full. Which means he then has two turns of being able to to uh, cast back to back. So his uptime is way higher now. Because the way that it works is that you get one stamina every turn, and you spend two on some of these abilities, so it's always a net negative of one. So you get like two good turns of being able to act, and then you have to recover. So having recovery give him an extra one means that he quickly shoots back up to three. Because other characters will have to alternate between resting and doing a two-point attack each turn if they want to do a two-point attack. But he can rest once, then do two two-point attacks. And that's a lot of uptime right there. Well, get stabbed, buddy. Did they take the same amount? Wait, did I already shield break them? I lost track. I think I did, given how many attacks I, in I was. Okay. Dear Captain Aiden, as per your request, I have translated the operating instructions for the weapon codenamed Rex. Is that like Metal Gear Rex? <laughs> Here's hoping it is an old bark and no bite. Regard, regards, Plague Master Acula. The weapon codenamed Rex. One, it feels like a Metal Gear reference. Metal Gear Rex, which is funny because the music's already making a Metal Gear reference, I think. But is it going to be a dog? Is there going to be a is there going to be a boss fight against a dog? That'll be dangerous. Ah, they've arrived in a witness puzzle. It's an oddly phallic bird shadow. Alright, this stop is Sky Garden. Well, almost Sky Garden. Put your walking boots on. Can't get us any closer. Nah, no can do. Them gray squirrels are vicious. I had a mate who violated their airspace, and the squirrels shot him down with a magic missile. No warning shots, just straight up... Pow! Dead. That's horrible. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Well, I better split. I've got a couple of other jobs booked. Makes sense. Birds gotta eat. Exactly. Birds gotta eat. I'll drop by tomorrow morning if you need a lift. Stay safe out there, mouse gang. Thank you, Dizzy. You too. 
Well, we're stranded. I wonder how many opportunities there are to fly around, or if that's even like the last one. I felt, I felt a little urgent to do the side quest stuff, just in case. Taxi terminal, sky garden, gloaming woods. Oh, there they are, being a little punk ass. Isn't our goal the gloaming woods not the actual, not the sky garden? Which road installed the precious thing? Jabari, Jabari, and who shall be the trickster king? Jabari, Jabari. We don't care about him, so he just, he's just going to get away with it. Because our characters don't care. I don't know if there's a reason to enter a town. Is our goal to talk to... Wasn't our goal to, to go into the woods? It's a wooden statue of an outlaw. Half eaten by moss and lichens. The plaque reads, For gilded Roy, so feared were he, That Kristoff sought his head. But sly Roy took his chance to flee afore the chart. For gilded Roy, so feared was he that Kristoff sought his head, but Sly Roy took, but, but Sly Roy took his chance to flee afore the charge was read. Gilded Roy flees, save your game. I don't think a statue's very good at running away. Checkmate. Lost Woods. What's up with this place? Every road looks the same. Maybe we should go back and ask for directions? Nah, not my style. <laughs> well, the th good news, buddy. I screenshotted it. Alright, so Roy, right, right, star. A pen lance. Alright, next down is right, down, question mark, star, left? Right, down, down. Right, down, right, there we go. The worst thing that's ever happened to me. I guess we can take them back to that person and sell them, though. The, the other spider that likes to eat spiders. Get out of the box, you little twerp. Who's Siobhan's... Uh, Siobhan's... Who's Siobhan's next fire attack? Alright, let's try this. No, oh, but she starts with a charge of out of, uh, over... Oh, I don't have that yet, do I? That's what I'm saving up for. That's that's good, then. That means her first fire attack is stronger than normal. And her other, her other thing is that she does more damage if she has full health, which she will have at the beginning of a fight. So those two combine to make her first attack really strong, once, once you have both those things. Oh, right. I can finally see health bars. I got the sea health bars ability and then quickly got in a situation where Siobhan wouldn't help me with fights and then we didn't play as Siobhan. So I haven't seen health bars for a bit. <laughs> you picked up an, ins an insect part. Gross, why'd you do that? I enjoy that response. Alright, this one's a longer one. Right, down, left, which is what I tried earlier, up, right, nope, oh, up, I reckon this is the Ashen Tower. It sure looks like it. But what's with this boulder? It's blocking the entrance. Siobhan, help me shift it. It looks pretty heavy, Sir Verm. There's no way we could budget alone. Let's go back to Sky Garden and get some help. 
all the way back. Ugh. This whole trip through that damned maze was a waste of time. Not a total waste, look. You found a traveler's cloak, buried in dust beneath a charred tree root. Well, that's something, I guess. It will take more than two of you to budge this boulder. We need the power of friendship and anime. What confused me is there was one more step than expected. Here we are again. So I went right, down, left, up. Then it's question mark star, so that what, there should be a, th a star on the next screen, but I went there and found that place instead. Which is not- Oh, hey, buddy! Stay back. There's a worm ahead. Oh, this is what- Yeah, because it was, it was from that room. I keep, man, I keep almost remembering the name of the meme slash joke, the name from Always Sunny. I think I keep losing it. Stay back. There's a worm ahead. Sir Worm, I think that's a, a slow worm. A slow worm? They're harmless, I think. Well, only one way to find out. Well met, travelers. You must be particularly inquisitive rodents. So, for few are able to find me, and fewer still dare approach. Probably because you're a venomous worm. Ah! Venomous! I am Seth, the friendly traveling wizard lizard. I merely seek knowledge to expand an academic frontier. Oh, a boffin. Boffin! Well, in a manner of speaking, I suppose that descriptor isn't inaccurate. In any case, perhaps we can make an exchange. Teach me something I do not know, and I will pay you in return. Something you don't know? Alright. Uh, fella day. You know, big fluffy titans. They're... They're weak to being set on fire. Isn't... Isn't everyone weak to that? <laughs> oh, sure, but Philidae are especially weak. I guess because they're so fluffy. I see. I don't know why you would know this, but I dare not ask. I have learned something new today, and I appreciate that. Take this for your troubles. You received a Zip Zap Potion. Thank you for your wisdom, travelers. I will treasure it. No second fact? Something unfamiliar is brewing. It smells like rose and honey tea, with hints of lilac and pine resin. Yeah, now we know why the why that why that one guy's room has a bunch of cheat code looking inputs that all say Roy at the beginning. Cause the this save point is the start point. And it looks like I went and accidentally found the next story bit, which is almost the same sequence that leads you to the snake, but then you go right instead of left at the end. All right, in we go. It's time to make friends. And about a hundred times as many enemies. He just says that to everybody that he meets. That's the dungeon down there. But they don't have reason to go there yet. Oh yeah, that, oh right, the janitor's a rat. Which stands out a bit because everyone else is a squirrel. The troopers with colorful swords are the Duke's dozen. Keep your head down. Don't make eye contact with them. That's my advice. That's why they all have weird swords. I didn't notice it at first, but then there was a bunch of them standing together that had wildly different swords. Oh, and a bunch of trails that got, go all the way to the top. Wizard littered of the glowing woods. 
They might be dangerous. They're not dangerous. But I can't tell them about it. Okay. He's still out. You see, Evan. What it all comes down to. So what it all comes down to. <laughs> Everything's gonna be quite alright. Is domination. That's the best feeling. The ultimate pleasure. Comfort. Freedom. Security. Sky Gardens got it all. And the best part is, the people want to be dominated. Ooh, -woo. Sure, they whine. They complain. They make up words for you like colonizer and fascist. But deep down, the people don't want to think about their problems. They want to be controlled. So I'm just doing everyone a favor. That's my burden as the dominator. <laughs> I, like to, I like to whip little brown hair girls that remind me of my mother, the crack whore. <laughs> I'm a dom. Uh, right. Lol. Uh, what did I ask? What's this? More entertainment? They aren't on the schedule. Alright. What do we have here? A fancy mole and a raggedy mouse. It, it's a pleasure to meet your acquaintance, my duke. My name is Lady Siobhan of... Siobhan? Weird name. Are they about to make fun of Americans not pronouncing names in Europe? I, am I about to get personally attacked? Spare the intros and cut to the chase. I'm looking for the yellow god of death. And I heard some Kallik on an ashen tower could help me find him. I want directions. Death gods and Kalliches. Ring any bells, Lord Master? Lol? Yes, of course. As a matter of fact. Nope. No bells rung. Our memories sure are foggy. But maybe the fog could be cleared with a small tribute to the throne, if you catch my drift. He's not very kingly at all, is he? He's not very impressive. He's just corrupt. A bribe. We look rich to you? I don't know, bro. Put that thing with jig on your back to- but Bet that thing- Bleh. Bet that thing a jig on your back is worth a pretty seed. My sword. Yeah. So you're gonna pay tribute? The sword is mine and mine alone. Keep your grubby paws off it. Show some respect, little mouse. Or someone might get eaten. You're Sky Garden's blade master, right? Can't say I've met a stoat before, much less fought one. Funny, because I've killed thousands of your kind. Chill out, you two. Chill out. I don't want to get blood on the throne room floor. Tell you what, Mouse. You got spunk, and I like that. Got what? So Evan here will teach you where to find the Calic, free of charge. Uh Won't ya, Evan? Uh, oh! Oh, yeah! I got you, Duke, lol. Right, so head southeast of here and you'll enter the gloaming woods. It's a maze. To find the exit, you gotta follow the winds. I know. I already figured that much out. Huh? You did? Yeah. But when I got to the dead tree, there was a big boulder in the way. So I couldn't get in. Oh, well, that sounds like a you problem. All right, well, cheers for that. Barrel of help you've all been. This trip was a fantastic use of my time. Sir Verm, please stop. Thank you for your time, D D Duke Josh. 
It's nothing. Go. What a, what a pair of dummies, lol. And where were we? Oh yeah, the best pleasure. Domination. Step on me, woo. Is that truly the best pleasure, Duke? For some, nothing is more pleasurable than a full belly in the company of friends. The friends are in the belly. I'm talking about Vor. Is that so? It's Vor shadowing. <laughs> no. Can we just take the weapon. Why wouldn't they have their weapon with them anyway? And there's the scary weapons. I wonder if we're gonna encounter the rest of the group while they're leaving or something? I'm too smart to be robbed twice in one day. Get out of here, you two. There's a save point behind him. Why? Why are you still here? Go follow the wind already. We did already. We just said that. You didn't even listen to us. Do you hear that? Music? It sounds familiar, don't you think? Bruce? Bruce. And it's coming from the dungeons. Oh no! What happened to him? Where it is, the Harlequin and his pals tried to put a fast one on the Duke. Thieves get the death penalty. No chance for clemency. So he's performing his last concert. That's awful. Yeah, it is. But it's not our problem. Not our problem? Bruce helped us get through the labyrinth. Only after lying to us about its dangers, he's a, he's a slimy worm. But he's a friend. Barely know him. Not my fleas, not my circus. I'm leaving. Ugh. Not running away. Sir Verm? Are you sure you're okay? Am I? Yeah, of course. Are you sure? You're shaking. You don't look okay. I'm fine. I just realized that you've got a point, that's all. We should break annoying clown out of prison because we might need his help to climb the Ashen Tower. You're a hard one to read, Sir Verm. Maybe for you. He doesn't seem that hard for me. Just because it seems... The shorthand is that he's Guts from Berserk, which is why he goes Berserk. Get it? And he has a giant... And he has an oversized sword and all that, all that jazz. And he's got PTSD. Because that is an important part of understanding Guts, is that he is a sexual assault survivor, and he has like seven sources of PTSD. So much has happened to that character, and he is not okay. He is very specifically not some stoic badass that just 80s action heroes through the whole story and ignores all the bad things. He puts on a facade of being that character, and is very clearly not actually that character, because of what everything that happens takes a toll. And so Verm takes issue, has a, has a, he wants to be selfish. He wants to single-handedly and mindlessly follow his revenge mission to avenge his brother. But on one hand, he, like he, he is, I think it's a combination of like there, there's guilt at the idea of running away when he once let someone die because he was too weak, even though it wasn't his fault really. And also the idea that like it, the idea of running away from a threat it activates that feeling again. Like it reminds him of exactly how he lost his brother, and one and the time that he had no choice but to run away, and ha and that's a defining moment for him. There's an interesting theming here going on too, where, uh, God, what's it? Bruce has to hide his tail in order to blend in in this place, and that's they they've done stuff, stuff thematically with that, and Verm lost his tail. Hey, we're visiting an inmate. Visiting hours are over, bud. That, that is, unless you're willing to pay a small tribute. I don't really get this tribute business. 
So uh, I think I'm just gonna beat you up and walk in. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> I have a knife. That's the tribute. Angie. It's tribute time! <laughs> and then he tributed it all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> Gonna have a meltdown. This game's really funny. I like the part where he said it's tribute time and they tributed it all over the place. Tisk tisk. It certainly is noisy today. And a noisy environment is a bad work environment. Where is that aggressive flute music coming from, anyway? Flute music intensifies. A breakout? A break-in? Bruce! Hey! Devon! Verm! I think I'd see you here, of all places. Friends of yours? Something like that? This is Gwen. She's good at stabbing. Say no more. <laughs> All caught up. Got it. What are your orders, Captain? Larry, go inform the Blade Master of the situation. I'll start up... That. That? Surely not that. Captain, it's too dangerous. The programming is unpredictable. Just go. Quickly now. Don't let him... Ah, shit. Look at you all. A bunch of freaks and degenerates playing with little god toys. You know nothing about the capabilities of real god weapons. And you do. Clan Grey has been utilizing god tools for eons. We know the devastating power that can, a real divine weapon can unleash. You see... The gods, in their wisdom, crafted automated sentinels. Mechanized titans with armored shells outfitted for warfare. No. Is Rex a fucking Sony dog? <laughs> it's That's why it's Metal Gear Rex? I would lose my fucking mind. Because <laughs> what put me together... What, 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 what put this together for me is that one... He's talking about mechanized characters, but also Siobhan has a bonus against mechanical enemies, and I'm like, hang on a minute. The Shrews of Vinium captured one, and now we use it as the ultimate as the ultimate prison guard. You're bluffing. Yeah, automated sentinels, mechanized titans. That's that kind of technology doesn't exist, godly or not. Uh ho. -huh. You want a demonstration? I would be more than happy to oblige. Ooh woo. Yup. Yup. <laughs> yup. <laughs> well, we have the full party together at least. Angie mode. Let's find out if robots bleed. Let's make this thing weaker. Oh, they both have a lot of health. Okay. There we go. Sword break. I wonder if we'll find out that... Yeah, he looks like he's controlling it. So I, I chose to sword break the boss, and then I'm gonna shield break the controller and see if killing this guy stops the robot. Super! Woo! What was that? Ow! Haha, <laughs> I made you weak. Well, that wasn't very strong in general. 
Are you sure this is the best you can do? Anyway, enjoy being weak. You're resistant to slashing? That's not great news for me. Oh. Well, you're not doing great now, are you? Super. But he's like super vulnerable to, to that, it seems. All right, we'll see if he keeps attacking or not. Either way, we will now shield break. No, what do I? Spend the extra turn defending to get an extra stamina, maybe? I should've used an item that regenerates stuff. Ah! An AoE. Super. Not, okay. Fire's not good. So I think stabbing was good against the guy on the left, but is weak. But stabbing's weak here. Wait, not on Gwen. Oh, I'm going to use it on myself. Oh well. Berserk mode. Let's try whacking. Nope, still bad. Let's make sure you're weak too. Encore on you because you're in berserk mode. We want to get as many turns out of that as we can. Damn. Oh my god. That was 48 damage and one attack? Ugh. Oh yeah, level ups are definitely story based. I knew it. That thing was nothing but a toy. The Blade Master and our Cash Queen will be here any second. We need to get out of here. Now. Wait a second. Bryce found the Jailer's key ring. You add to your trinkets. Look, Gwen. One of these is the key we need, eh? Let's go get Anton. Bri Bruce, there's no time. You serious? I'm not gonna leave him. I don't know what's going on, but the stab rat's right. The prison is a dead end. Once we get cornered, we'll be slaughtered. Then... Then I'll die by Anton's side. Didn't know you had that sort of bravery in you, Bruce. But sorry. I promised I'd get you to the surface in one piece, and I'm keeping that promise. Hey! Stop pushing me! We should go, too. Right. Body? Captain Aiden is down for the count. If, if they're worried about being cornered, then I guess they have to just go back and win. Getting rid of more saving than expected. Prison break, is it? Don't worry. I won't squeal. Don't know what you did, Mouse, but the Peerless is coming. Go. Run. Can't go there. Verm, wrong way, we have to go. Uh oh. Oh, clear. No sign of escapees. Esca <laughs> escapees, Blade Master. Maybe they're still in the dungeon. Or maybe they've already fled. 
Excuse me, sweeping one. Has anyone passed through here? Hmm. Ain't seen nobody but Maya. Maya. Yep. Maya Bruma. Ah! You shouldn't lie, rat. Chet, no! <laughs> Insincerity taints the flesh. It ruins the flavor. See, I have a hunger. A deep hunger. A howling void in the pits of my stomach. It's not a hunger that can be satiated by a foul and petty liar. But then again, food is food. Uh, Blade Master? Blade Master? The, the prisoners? Lower the portcullis. Double the watch on the battlement. Sky Garden is in full lockdown. Code Rose. Nobody leaves or enters the tree until this mess is resolved. But what if the prisoners have already escaped? Then Captain Aiden will be tried for his failure. As will you, Larry. Uh oh. Oh no. Well, they fucked up. No, he's still locked in there. We gotta save him. There is a significant height difference amongst this crew. Wow. <laughs> I'm just a tiny guy. I'm just a little guy. It's my birthday. <laughs> Doesn't look like we're being followed. We should be safe out here. All this sun and warmth. I forgot how bright it is outside. Bruce, are you okay? Are you alright? No. That was supposed to be a- this was supposed to be a great day. But everything's gone to shit. And Anton's going to die. I'm sorry. It's fine, Gwen. It's not your fault. Maybe if I were a little braver. If I were a real fighter. Bruce. Hey. Verm. Siobhan. What are you doing here, anyway? We're on our way to the Ashen Tower. It's home to the Kalik who can help serve Verm in his quest. Quest? Oh, right. I better fill you in, Gwen. This mad lad wants to kill a god. That's pretty gutsy. Pretty stupid, more like. Whatever. It's all... Moot point. I don't know why I added words. <laughs> Whatever. It's all moot right now. Because I'm following a bad lead. You said you're going to the Ashen Tower, right? Did you know it? Not personally, but... From my cell, I often overheard the Catchwin gossiping. There was some whisper of the Duke once making a pilgrimage there. That's all I know. So the Duke himself visited the Calic. Maybe the lead is legit after all. I wonder where the Duke went. What did he want to know? He probably wanted to ask what ask the secret to being the worst bastard in the world. Most likely. The Duke's an absolute pussball of a Rosen. I bet he smokes to cover the smell of his own farts. Javon, where'd you learn to speak like that? Why is everyone looking at me? She came up with that filth all by herself. Thanks, all. I needed some levity. Sorry to cut this short, but I need to reach the Ashen Tower before dusk. So... Javon and I are going to get going. Verm, wait. I know it's a long shot, but the Calic might be able to help me. Like, she might know some way to rescue Anton or something. So, can I join you for your trip? Sure thing. Thanks. I would like to come too, if it's okay with the rest of you. 
I'm curious about what lies at the heart of the Ashen Tower. And besides, I want to learn more about what... About this dudes, dudes, god killing business. I just, I'm just not ready. I'm not ready for the dialects of these two characters. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not U European. It's a struggle. <laughs> Doot? Well, whatever. The more the merrier. To the glowing woods! This doot? <laughs> Alright, well, let's go off over to here. Oh, we're still being hunted by the Scissor Sisters. That's, a, that's unfortunate phrasing. Come on, Maisie. Keep up. We're so far from Yurida. Are you sure we're gonna going the right way, Rosie? You remember the intel we gathered from those cheese-breathed bre cheese rats? And the paw ball la and the paw ball lads. Remember what they said? Uh, well, <laughs> remember what they said? So the uh, the kids that play ball that play ball in the quarter narked on us. Get lost, tin heads. After that, yeah, yeah, I know. The vagabond and the noble mole went to the gloaming woods. Right. We're losing the evening light. Let's go. Hey, wait up. Oh, they're right on our tail too. All right, so. I guess I said to follow the- oh, you follow the wind. I noticed the wind briefly, but then I remembered that I had notes, so I just followed those, and then I just found the solution on an accident. Wait. Where did Sir Verm and Lady Gwen just go? Oh, a party split. Character interactions. I heard a song about the Gloving Woods once. They're said to be cursed. Spin you round and round, right round, right, they're like a record baby round, round. Let's just... Wait a moment. Maybe a little backtrack. Makes sense? Hey, hey, Bruce? I'm worried about Sir Verm. Worried? Lad looks healthy to me. He is, but there's something wrong. It's like he throws himself into things. Too much of himself. He wants to find and slay the Yellow God, but I think he'd be fine dying in the process. Ah, I get what you mean. The lad, no, the lad does have a raw recklessness about him. When, when people get hurt, they lash out. Sometimes at others, sometimes at themselves. It's not an easy wound to treat. Aha! Damn it! Where did Rosie go? We're each going to meet one of the sisters. I hate this stupid, confusing forest. Damn it! How did I get lost? I'm so stupid. You alright, Les? Oh, didn't see you there. I'm looking for my sister. She's a hair taller than me. Got a scissor blade like mine. You, you seen her? Uh, I can't say that we have, no. Alright, no worries. Ah, wait! You're a mole, and you're nobility. Hmm. But this one isn't a mouse. You two wouldn't know anything about a vagabond mouse, would you? Uh, nope. That doesn't ring any bells, sorry. Ah, no worries then. Heh. <laughs> Pretty smooth talking, Siobhan. But I wonder what a thimble guard was doing all the way out here. Ye and Verm must be building quite a reputation as wanted outlaws. Uh, oh! Oh no. Should I be worried? Yes. <laughs> you don't want an entire country hunting you, or two at this rate? Wait, we lost someone or two. Bruce and Siobhan. I didn't even see them wander off. How is that possible? They were right on my tail. Well, your tail's not in the zip code, so... 
Speaking of tails, I, I don't want to pry, but I noticed that yours is missing and all. So what? I'm not judging. I'm missing parts too. It must be tough to walk without a tail, let alone swing a sword. I cope just fine. So I see. They're talking about the tail affecting their, ba their balance. Where did Maisie go? A vagabond mouse, but no mole. I wonder. You two. Thimbleguard, you're far from home. I'm looking for two rodents. If you could answer some questions. We don't have to answer the likes. We don't have to answer to the likes of a crown worshipping tinhead. Listen, I've had a long day. I'm not in the mood to field more petty insults. So if you don't wish to talk civilly, I'll have no choice but to draw my sword. Bring it on! What do you say, Verm? Let's send this tin head back to Mirida. Oh. Well, I guess we're just going. Here's your personality shift between these two sets of characters. Alright. We don't have support characters. So this is interesting, and we don't know how much, and we don't know how much health they have because we were missing support characters. Nice sword, but fancy steel won't save you. Schwing. Twenty-four damage. No, thirty-two. Whoops. Oh! Ugh. Two on one. Hardly fair. What does a guard know about fairness? Come on, Verm, let's go. Oh, hey, there you are. Where'd you go? War the woods are cursed. Aye, that's what I said. Woods are cursed. Hey, listen. Hey, listen! Uh, these woods are crawling with knights, crawlies, and who knows what else. Let's follow Verm closely. Gwen learned rally. Right you are, Gwen. We're following. What is rally? Is it Gwen's going up? Yeah, I'm surprised that the the code that takes you to the secret is almost the same combination that leads you to the, uh... Oop, here we are. Which pre- which rodent stole the precious thing? Jabari, Jabari. And who shall be the trickster king? Jabari, Jabari. Wait. I took a left, then a right. Dang, am I lost? You! Oh! Uh. Hey! Sup? I'd have bury you where you stand, you two faced rock swiping idiot. Friend of yours. Hardly. This backstabber is the one that got me and my boyfriend locked up. <laughs> well, uh, if, if you don't want to do the time. Isn't they a joke? Are you kidding? Everything's a joke. You need to learn to lighten up and laugh a little at life. And you're really ticking me off, you smug runt. So? So what now? You gonna serenade him into an apology? Nay. I think you made a good point earlier, Gwen. There's a time for tootin' and a time for bootin'. I'm gonna kick his ass all by myself. Bruce learned whack. Bring it on, you spoony bard. Oh, he's gonna attack people now. I don't know how he's gonna do that with an with an with an ocarina, but I give a bonus. So giving a bonus turn to yourself is stupid because you use the turn up doing it. Eh. Uh oh. Eh. 
We're learning attacks via storytelling. I'm amused by that. Uh oh. He's just grabbing these from his pocket. Oh, it's two! Double stab. No. Joke's on you. What is that? Uh oh. <laughs> Uh -uh. Ah. This enemy is chaos. Ruh -ruh. So I can heal twice and attack every turn before I, ha I have to rest. I'll then have to rest for the third heal. Okay, being stunned is bad. But I did the math, and they're going to do eight eight turns, eight damage if they stun me overall. So I still have ch a chance to heal. Uh, the heal is only ten though. You know, I'm just gonna not bother with you right now. Let's get sloshed. That actually might have made things worse, because <laughs> he doesn't have any bonuses for drinking yet. Isn't coffee supposed to specifically recover from this too? Seems wasteful right now though. Uh oh. And my sloshedness is gonna screw me now if I have actually. Oh god, do I am I gonna miss every turn? Uh oh. Cut it out. Shockingly, the guy that doesn't normally fight people is not good at it. This isn't like the pa one of those anime moments where the pacifist breaks their their uh, streak and then just obliterates somebody with their bare hands. Bruce isn't good at this. Man, cut it out. I even just used the thing to, rec to recover stamina, and you're making it be wasted by making me sit out turns. Annoying. He's rough on his own. As far as I'm aware, doing the attack, the thing that gives you an extra turn is pointless. Oh, his tail wiggled. Or his ear wiggled to indicate the damage. Did they lose a turn to that? I think they did. Yeah, Encore shouldn't do anything because it just gives you one more turn that turn, but you spent your turn casting it, so it's just pointless. There we go. We got there eventually. Okay, okay, I yield. Damn. Who taught Bruce to fight like that? Very slowly and ineffectively, like with a slappy wrist. <laughs> Only the best. Here, take the rock. It isn't shiny, so it's worth nothing to me anyway. The pebble of Schoon. Hey, Bruce. I'm sorry. I never intended for you and Anton to get locked up. I'll make this right. And how are you going to do that? Sky Garden's on full, full alert, and Anton's execution is in the morn. I'll... think of something. Let's carry on. I think we're getting close. He got what he wanted. A heavy weight for such a small object. Hmm. And then our key is still in here. Oh yeah, and we got dings! 
Oh, I forgot to level, uh, I've leveled everyone up after the dog. Making our way, making our way around. Should have done this before. It would have helped with other fights. Okay. So now he's in, he's in range for both of his energy ups. They're easy to get. When? Okay, we have not looked at your tree yet. I'm waiting for this. So seven, five, six, six. Class. Iconoclast. Gwen uses her piercing glaive to smash defenses and, re and wreak havoc. Already, there's a stamina up. Couple right here. So she can just get them immediately. Neat. Uh, rally recovers three hearts for each party member. I don't know what Rally does yet, because I haven't used it yet. But she unlocked Rally last scene. Maybe it's just every... I, the, the ambiguity here is that it could mean that she gains three hearts for how many party members she has. Or it could mean that every party member gains three hearts. That's, that's a somewhat ambiguous phrasing. But I imagine the rally is a full party, a full party boost, and so maybe it also heals them a little bit now if you get that. Gwen's attacks deal fifty percent extra damage against military personnel. Oh, a gab, a g, a <laughs> gab. All guards are busted. Okay, I see. Shield break and sword breaks effects last one extra turn. That's pretty good. Gwen recovers three hearts when attacking bleeding enemies. Gwen's attacks inflict three bleed. Hello. Gwen's attacks deal 20% extra damage to bleeding enemies. Okay, so she attacks, she, she makes people bleed, then when she attacks the same person again, she heals and also does more damage the second time. Okay. She seems to have really powerful passives, where some of the other characters feel a little situational. I'm a little torn. I want those stamina in general, but I do feel like I should get some of these other effects faster. The question is whether or not I'll level up from doing the Ash Tower, which I probably will. Because it feels like this is the most immediately good power I should get immediately. But I definitely want this before I get back to to uh, the squirrels. Because this is a bonus. This is bonus damage against all of them. Including probably the boss fight when we fight the stoat. Let's nab this up real quick. Because her character seems built around having bleed. Or at least the entire bottom half of her tree is. So only one person has a bonus stamina so far. But we'll get there. Alright. The party is back together. Mm -hmm.